a plant in China and the illness of more than 100 workers there have underlined a need for companies all around the world to take more responsibility to protect their staff and the work environments in which they operate. Our correspondent Jessica Stern reports now from New York on how far CSR in China has come but also how far it still has to go. From the moment you meet 48-year-old Simon Lang, chairman and CEO of Evergreen Industries Group, it is clear he wants to break the mold of the stuffy business leader. Lang is animated, he is passionate, he is funny. Our employee like a movie star, so uh, uh, we are uh, very close. Those movie stars, as he calls them, number more than 25,000. They range from migrant workers to highly educated engineers who together delivered 54 bulk container vessels in 2010. They are the part of the capital and the soft capital of the company. And uh, if, you, if they don't stay, they are not happy, they go and uh, your capital go. We met Lang in New York City at a recent session hosted by the Committee Encouraging Corporate Philanthropy. He and other Chinese business leaders met with other global executives to share models on how to make worker and environmental protections a greater part of their businesses. Aluminum producer Alcoa is a recognized leader in what the business community calls corporate social responsibility. It means basically to be able to win a corporate license to operate all around the world every day. Alcoa chairman and CEO Klaus Kleinfeld says the company works to make high safety standards and environmental protection a part of its brand. He says that's what garnered community support to build a bauxite mine in the Amazon rainforest and a smelter in Iceland. Alcoa has already reduced its carbon emissions by 40 percent in the last 10 years. Meeting the standards brings a payoff for company managers. Every year it's part of the incentives for the senior management. It's a method GT Tire Group's executive director, Sherry Lim, is willing to consider. So far, the Shanghai-based company has focused on offsetting the 270,000 metric tons of carbon it produces annually through extensive forest conservation in Indonesia. GT also raises and donates money to restore sight for thousands of visually impaired Chinese. They are areas where business can contribute that uh, perhaps a government or civil society you know, cannot, uh, but when the business do it on its own, the impact is very limited. So both Lim and Lang partner. Lim coordinates with Chinese and American universities. Lang has created a technical school and 40 engineering university fellowships. But he acknowledges Chinese companies can learn from the Western model of embracing company-wide goals. You should, should have, have each individual in their blood uh, share the same thing, like a kind of religion. Corporate social responsibility, or CSR, has been a known concept in China for the past decade, but it's only recently started to catch on. In the latest China CSR development report, just one company filed a CSR report in 2001. By 2009, that number was up to 364. Government support is growing. Just last month, Premier Wen Jiaobao lowered the national economic growth target to help ensure energy-efficient development. It has to. China is one of the world's largest emitters of greenhouse gases. Last year, a mining company, Acid Leak, killed thousands of fish in Fujian province, and battery plant leaks in two other provinces were blamed for poisoning local children. Annette Nays of the China-Europe International Business School says it's still up to the government to make sure companies follow the rules. Sometimes Western companies uh, feel that they are much better watched uh, than Chinese companies. Alcoa's Kleinfeld says when a company does face controversy, a strong community relationship can help. Last year, Alcoa was fined for an Australian refinery dust emission, and it has long battled with the state of North Carolina to get four hydroelectric dams relicensed. This is about doing things with the community, working with the community, and at the same time being economically successful. As China continues its rise, balancing economic growth against social and environmental protections, Lim and Lang say developing corporate social responsibility is needed now more than ever. For World Insight, I'm Jessica Stone in New York. We're going to continue our program right after this. Stay with us here on World Insight.